<laughs> he was a guest of the Carnegie Science Center, actually, promoting the documentary Wings Over Water, and that's because his song Power of Love is featured in that film. But you may have assumed he was in town for another exhibit, the one that Mikey Hood recently checked out. Take a look. Hey everyone, can you guess what instrument rocked the nation? If you figured guitar, you would be absolutely correct. And there are plenty of them right here at the Carnegie Science Center where they're bringing rhythm and sound to the Berg. And I'm here with Jason Brown, who's with the Carnegie Science Center. Jason. I see guitars everywhere. How many are here? Uh, there's over 70 guitars spread out over 7,000 square feet. So yeah, there are guitars packed in all over the place. And there's something really special behind this because it looks like, I could be wrong, is this B.B. King's guitar? It is. It is the original Lucille and it is autographed by B.B. King and this is the only place you're going to see it. That's amazing. There's also some other notable guitars here as well, right? There are. We have what's called the Cochrane Booster Caster, which is actually a steampunk version of a guitar that's put together from found items and other guitars. It's really amazing. And we have a 3D printed guitar called the ODD, and it is unlike others too because it is completely unique in the way it looks. It really seems like you all have everything, but what I really love is how interactive this place is, and this looks like the world's largest, biggest guitar here. That's exactly what it is. It's 43 feet long. It's the world's largest playable guitar, and it's on loan from the National Guitar Museum along with everything else because at the Science Center, if you can't play with stuff, it's just not the Science yeah, Center. Yeah, I've seen a lot of kids over here loving this guitar. Actually, I love it too. But what's really cool is that you guys have live performances here often, right? We do. We have live performances regularly. Today we have Don Hollywood, and we have Drew Manyo, and we have our very own Brad Peroni sitting in on bass. Okay, so we're going to get to see them, right? All right, yeah, they're right over here. Let's go. I'm here with Brad, Don, and Drew. And Don, you, your family owns their own guitar store, so you know all about the instrument, right? Yes, Hollywood Music and McKee's Rocks. It's a family-owned business. We've been there for 60 years. Started in the basement of our house with my dad. Uh, it, it's been in our, our family for for a very long time, so yes, I know all about the guitar. And what do you think makes it such a popular instrument? Well, it's easy to learn, and it's so much fun to play, you know, if it's just for your enjoyment, or you, or you, or you want to be in a band, it's just, it's a lot of fun, and very, you know, it's a very creative instrument. You can, you know, do, do a lot of stuff with it. Yeah, well, speaking of fun, you guys are going to play a cool selection, one that I'm pretty familiar with. Okay. Yeah. So take it away. Johnny, be good. Gentlemen. Yes. That is Sounds fun. Great. That yeah. is so awesome. Very impressive. And yeah. so cool that all that is right here in Pittsburgh. I know. Yeah. So guitar, the instrument that rocked the world, is a touring exhibit of the National Guitar Museum, and it is here in Pittsburgh through October and included in the price of general admission.